What's going on guys? My name's Dave and today I'm going to be showing you how I drew this Kobe Bryant illustration in Adobe Illustrator and then design this on Adobe Photoshop. Before I get started, make sure to like and subscribe and go follow my Instagram. Now, the first thing you want to do is find yourself a good reference image. You can find these on Google or Getty Images. And as you can see here, I've got this photo of Kobe Bryant from Getty Images and it's got a little um, watermark at the bottom. But that won't matter because we're just going to be drawing over the top. The next thing you're going to want to do is chuck the photo on the bottom layer and then you're going to turn the opacity down just a little bit so that when you draw over you can see the lines clearly. Now you're going to want to create a new layer and then grab your brush tool. You can do this by clicking B on the keyboard and it should bring up a brush and then you just want to paint over the outsides of the player. So here you can see I'm just painting outside the jersey um, and then I've done all the legs and stuff and yeah. Now one thing that's really important to note is that when you're outlining the player, all of the outlines need to touch each other. This is because when we tell Adobe Illustrator to fill in the paths, if there's any gaps, the color will flow out and you won't be able to create a solid shape. So just make sure that they're touching each other. Now once you've outlined all of the main aspects of the body, you're going to want to go and change your brush size down to a little bit smaller. So here I've got a 0.25 brush. And you're just going to go and fill out all the small details. So before I was doing the details on the shoes. And then now I'm just doing the outlines on the jersey pattern. And just go over it until all of it, all of the different colors are filled in. Now I'm just going to fast forward through some of the more detailed bits here. And I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, now the last little part I like to do with the outline is add in a little bit of tapid brushes. So a tapid brush is basically a normal brush but the ends are slightly more uh, sharp. So what this does is adds a little bit of definition and more detail into the picture. And it's really good for adding details such as muscle definition and the wrinkles in the jersey. And it just makes it a little bit more sharper. Now that you've got your outline, you're going to select the entire layer and then go up to object then click expand appearance and then you're going to go to the pathfinder and click join once i've joined all the paths up i've duplicated the layer and locked the top layer which will serve as the base outline and then i've added a shape underneath the bottom layer and then combined it to make one big shape then you can click a and select within all of these little shapes and color it in a handy tool you can use is the eyedropper tool if you click i and if you hover over a picture or a reference image and hold shift with the I button, you can select any color and that will kind of help you choose what colors are right for that part of the object. Now here I've got an old drawing I've done of Kobe and Michael Jordan which I've used to help me color in the jersey and the skin color. And yeah. Now the hardest part about drawing is definitely the face. So I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to fill this in because even I have trouble with the faces sometimes. So what I've done is filled in the nostrils and eyebrows and then used my tapid brush to outline the nose and eyes. Once I've done that, I filled in the eyeballs and the mouth. And as you can see, this takes quite a while just to get everything right and add in the small little details, including all the shadows and highlights on the face. And make sure you take your time with it and get a lot of practice in. Now to add depth to your character, you're going to want to add shadows. Now the most prominent places that shadows should be placed in the character should be around the bottom of the nose, the eye sockets, the ears, and maybe around the sides of the face. I've also added highlights to the hair. Now I've done this by creating a clipping mask with the hair and then adding a little lighter parts to the top of the head where the light might be hitting. Now you can also add highlights to the face by just doing a white uh, object over the nose and on the cheeks and then lowering the opacity so it blends in a little bit with the skin. Here I'm filling in the arms and I've added shadows through a clipping mask to the inner parts of the arms and a highlight to the outer parts. 
Uh, over time, over illustrating, I've come to learn which parts of the body create shadows and which parts make highlights. But if you need help finding where to put these highlights and shadows, you can always refer back to your reference image and just see which parts of the body are darker and which parts are lighter. Now after creating the A on the jersey, I've created a clipping mask and filled in some shadows and just making it a little bit darker to add some depth and again if you don't know where to add it, just use your reference picture, see where it's darkest and here I'm just colouring in the shorts and then, yeah. Now here I'm just adding the finishing touches to the illustration just doing the shadows and highlights on the legs and on the shoes and yeah here's what it looks like now I'll be showing you how I designed this little design of him with all his trophies um, so here I've put down a Lakers court just changed the perspective and masked some of it out and then turned down the opacity or should I say the exposure and then here I've just painted in a little bit of exposure around the bottom of Kobe just to add some light because I have a light beaming down from on top of him. And then I've darkened Kobe Bryant by adding an exposure layer and then painting some brighter exposure on the outer parts of him where the light is going to be hitting him. And then I've done the same for the shadows. So I've created a darker exposure and then clipped it to Kobe and then inverted the mask and then just painted in where all the shadows and the darker parts will be and this just gives the illustration a little bit more depth now i've gone ahead and added the light in you can find these on google i just had one in my folders and then i clicked the blending layer to screen and then i changed the opacity down a little bit so it's just a little bit less prominent then i went and found this image on google of some lakers banners and then i've masked out just the bottom of the picture and then turn the opacity or fill down a little bit just so it blends in a bit better with the black background and yeah it gives it a nice little touch and yeah now i have some of these pngs of the nba trophies down so what i've done here is just placed it at the front i've turned the exposure down so it matches the brightness of the composition and then i've added some extra exposure around the outsides just to make it shine a little bit and see where the light's hitting um, and yeah, I've added five of these in. Obviously, Kobe's got five rings. And then I'm going to also add his two finals MVPs from 2009, 2010, as well as his one MVP in. And yeah. So what I've also done with the trophies is added a Gaussian blur to it, just to change the depth of the field and make it look like it's a little bit further than it actually is. So yeah, here I am just adding in the finals MVP trophies and changing the brightness down or exposure should I say and then just adding some extra exposure around the edges just to see where the light fits. Now as I'm finishing up this tutorial, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know this was a pretty brief tutorial. I will be doing more videos in the future, doing some more in-depth ones for you guys. And yeah, just let me know in the comments who else you want to see me draw and if you got any questions. For some finishing touches, I've duplicated Kobe Bryant and then turned him upside down and lowered the opacity. So as you can see, it gives a little bit of shine into the court. And then I've gone ahead and created a layer and brushed some shadows onto the court just underneath the trophies. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, here's where I stopped recording, but afterwards, just a second. As you can see here, I've added in a quick little signature and then I've added in a couple of white lights in the background and just blurred it. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what other designs or tutorials you want to see me do. And go follow my Instagram at Xavier, link in the bio.